Welcome my friends to the office where dreams become reality. So we've actually never showed you an office tour. So I thought today would be your and my special day to give you a tour. So this is our meeting table. This is usually where we have lunch. Um, so nothing too profound happens here. Um, a lot of business meetings, especially like conference calls, this is where that all happens. We have the Inspire 2 that we're packing as well. We have three big windows that light in the natural light, but we also have it so they can completely make it pitch black in here. Now you can't tell right now because it is nighttime, but these will black it out, so if you want to be filming in here with bigger lights, we can do that and get away with all that stuff. So come over here. I'm gonna shut the door right now so no one gets mad. Um, we have all these big pictures blown up. We got these done for Costco at Costco, in case you're wondering. But um, these are all from different trips or different experiences we've had. So Easter Island, this is actually the same spot I proposed to my wife, Megan. Um, our Mad Max tree right here. Our New Zealand Hobbiton, Carter Hogan on our team actually took that photo. Ping pong table, usually Carter and Chris Newman are playing here, and Seth. Um, I don't know who's the best at ping pong, but they are always going at it right there. Now, originally designed this room, um, because they let us kind of choose a layout, I wanted it to be very collaborative. So we made it so we could all be in the same room working together and we collaborate on the projects and seeing, okay, what are you working on? Um, how can I give you advice or not advice and work together? So when we have team meetings, we have them once a week. You come over here. This is where all the team meetings happen. So um, we don't usually have assigned seatings, but today Tyson sat there, Carter sat there, I sat right here, and Seth, Zane, Brandon. So this is kind of where we hurdle, um, hurdle, Hike. This is where we get together and just talk about what we can do better on the channel. Um, we just start brainstorming ideas. A lot of magic, if you call it magic, happens right here because we're all working together. And that's what I love about our team is everyone thinks differently than any other person. Um, so everyone brings in something completely different. So this is like a really awesome collaborative effort. And then right here we got a big screen Samsung TV. Um, Originally the idea was we'd always preview our videos here, but we don't always do that as often as I would like to. But this is where we do preview our videos. And right here is the football from Super Bowl 50 last year when we actually filmed the video with Joe Montana with the Hercules airplane. Um, but we have Joe Montana's autograph right there. So one of the highlights in all of our career on our team um, to get to actually work with him. So we kind of have that displayed as a memento um, of our relationship and our experience with that. And then we have, of course, like the sound stuff. Come with me. So this is Brandon's desk right here. This right here is Carter's desk. And um, this is Carter's desk. And then you got Tyson's desk here. And we go through hard drives like a kid goes through candy. So we go through a lot of different stuff. For everything you see, we have it backed up somewhere else. So um, you can never be too safe or too sorry for that matter. But this is where um, the kind of the core stuff right now that we're working on is all right here. These are all um, 64 terabytes right here. I can't remember if these are 64 terabytes or not. I believe they're 32 terabytes. Um, but these are definitely 64 terabytes. And we're using the trash can um, Mac computers, if you look right here. Ta-da, so all the workstations, they got those going on. All workstations are using LG monitors. This was not sponsored by anyone for that matter. And um, this is Tyson's desk. You got Zane's desk right here. And then you got Seth's desk right here. Um, all the tables, and I think this is important that I mention, um, we use up desk for all of our, our desk. I push the button, magic happens. So what's so good about this, and we use it all the time, sitting can hurt your back. So I actually broke my back in high school, so that was like, when I was looking into desk, this one popped up as far as like the best reviews. But up desk, I think you can go to their website. But here, I can start standing and editing at the same time, and then it's like, okay, now my legs are getting tired, now it's time to sit. Well, I'm in luck. But we all have up desks that we bought, and uh, we love them, and it's kind of what you see right here going on. And because half of our team is lazy, we thought we would install a hammock. So usually when we're just, oh, there's a football right here. Imagine that. So this is actually where I'll sit most of the day. People are always wondering what I'm doing all day. I'm just sitting right here relaxing. 
kicking back. This actually feels really nice right now. I'm like stressed because I've got so much going on. But I will sit here every so often. I'll be working on my computer and my laptop, making stuff happen that way. A lot of my job requires emails and concepts and stories and all that jazz. So that's kind of what's going on there. And as I told you, we're just packing and coming right here. So you got that going on. So follow me over here. We got our hover blowers because you can never be too safe or sorry. So actually the, the question is, is why am I not on the hoverboard right now? Boom. See that? It's actually been a while since I've written this. But we have a lot of our props right here. The bomb from our Mario Kart video. Mini refrigerator. What's in the refrigerator? Water bottles, water bottles, Gatorade, and vanilla Coke because Zane on our team loves vanilla Coke. So I'm gonna shut that right here. Boom! Now this right here is the mystery room. Originally, we were gonna put like a, not a green screen, but like a studio where we could shoot tutorials. Because things have just been so crazy, busy, and hectic, that hasn't happened yet because we want it to be like really professional. And as you know, we're always outside filming, so it doesn't always kind of work out with what we do. But right now, this is kind of more of a storage area that we got going on. But we got our watchdog poster here and our Assassin's Creed video here, two of our favorite shoots. And that's what we try to do is all the posters that you see, they're some of our like best experiences that we've ever had making movies. And then if you remember the video we did with Sean Duras and Syndicate, Pro Syndicate, this is one of the, the scooters we used up at Powder Mountain uh, last year. And then we have a lot of our props right here. Do you guys remember the paddleboard boxing? Boom. Props all here. If you remember our skateboarding video we did with boosted boards, boom. Almost fell. We have like those costumes here, all the helmets that we use. Um, if you ever saw our Point Break helmet, uh, our Point Break video, there's Putin right in there. Maybe he's a fan of our videos. Who knows? And um, our Mario Kart love song video. It hasn't come out yet, but here is. I actually had to wear this like a diaper. <laughs> if you can imagine that, don't imagine that. But if you can imagine that, hopefully you don't have to. And um, yeah, we just have so many props right here from so many different shoots. And then we got a lot of lights. If you look over here, a lot of big lights because lighting's so important. So we have all this for bigger shoots. Um, this is like super, like not as strong as the sun because you guys are going to call me out on that. But this, these are really powerful lights um, and they're all the LED lights. And I'm going to get off this because I, I want to just keep on riding and never stop. But um, we've done a lot of stuff with Traxxas. That's how we did the Mario Kart video. If you look right here, you actually have the turtle shell with our RC cars like that. They definitely took a beating though. We, we like to push things. So coming through here, now you have the color correction room. Now they suggest that when you actually do color correction like seriously, you want your walls to be 18% gray as far as the paint. So um, Brandon actually painted this room on our team, 18% gray, and it's supposed to help with your eyes when you're color correcting. Um, the truth of the matter is, is we haven't gotten like hardcore into color correcting, so this is just another editing room. Um, this is where I've been working lately. I used to be where Seth is, but I kind of come in here because I get a lot more done. People don't interrupt me as often, so that's kind of the, the thought process behind this. But um, this is where I will sit and edit and just take naps and relax. Usually just take naps and relax. Not really though, but once I said, see that? Magic, magic baby. But um, yeah, a lot of stuff gets done. Those are my backgrounds from Kauai, one of my favorite filmmaking trips of all time. And then the hard drive I've been working on lately, I've been wrapping up a big documentary, The John Moser Project. So I wrote, labeled these, Moser Documentary, Don't Touch. So those are the hard drives. Um, we have a big TV right here. The idea was um, we were gonna mount this up here when we were color correcting, we just kind of just moved it over here for the time being. But you could have the whole crew in here. Usually when we have to have like one-on-one -on -one conversations um, or like important phone calls, this is usually where everything goes down. And if you look up top, you have really artsy lights. So the lighting looks pretty dramatic in here and I can look really evil. So follow me. So if you come in here, this is the room where dreams become reality. This is the equipment room. So this is like a real candy store for kids that like candy store. Now, actually most of our equipment is not in here right now because it's out on three shoots and in that big room right now. But if you come in here, this room doesn't look exciting, but we're talking a lot of really cool camera equipment. But we own two red weapon cameras that are usually somewhere over here. And watch this, watch this. You see this? Three, two, wait, look right here. Three, two, one. 
Magic, baby. Magic happens every day. But uh, we got these at Costco, and it makes such a big difference. This is how we used to do things. Like, you can't even see anything. Boom, just like that. So, um, we have all our lenses right here. Our Inspire, this is one where we crashed. So, this was a sad day. It, it kind of like crashed itself though, ironically. Or not ironically. But, um, and then we have a lot of other kind of miscellaneous equipment here. And we have everything labeled very nicely. But like, okay, Devin, I need some red parts. Boom, just like that. Hey, glide cam parts. Obviously right here. And the polarizers. Uh, Canon miscellaneous and the list goes on. I've got a bunch of china balls and stuff like that, but That's kind of this room, but we have everything kind of organized Camera equipment right here 360 camera stuff right here all GoPro stuff right here sound stuff right there 360 other stuff down there, so It's a pretty nice setup, and I, I can't complain about it. So follow me. I'm gonna turn off that light like that boom See that magic? So we're gonna go backwards. Keep on walking now. Brandon's walking backwards, glide camming. If you're not impressed, I don't know who will be. So yeah, that's kind of a overview of our office. Another important thing worth mentioning is we have a lot of equipment here and if something happened to it, we would be out of a job. So we actually made sure we had really good security, so we actually got um, Canary equipment. Come over here, I'll show you this for a minute. So this is one of the, the cameras in our office, and the second anything happens in this room, if someone knocks on the door, touches a window, it instantly alerts everyone on our team in the FBI. Not the FBI, but maybe the CIA, who knows. But um, we, can, we always know who's in here and what's going on and records it. So we have multiple cameras throughout the building, um, or throughout our office for that matter. But we, um, we got these from Canary in case you're wondering, I'll have a link below in the description as well. But that's just to make sure we always know what's going on at our office and just to keep everyone safe and our equipment especially safe because it's better to be safe than sorry. I want to thank you all for supporting us. Originally when I started the first five years, five and a half, six years, the last six years since the channel started, I've been editing in my bedroom and even when we started getting other people on our team, they're all editing at their houses. So it, it made it very hard to be productive and especially when we started working with big companies, they, they wanted like, okay, can we meet at your office? And it wasn't an option because we didn't have an option. It was like meeting at my house in like someone else's basement. So that's what it really came down to. So I'm stepping over here so you can actually see the office while I'm talking so the background's a little bit better than the window. See, those are the things you think about as a filmmaker. But so for us, we've been here for the last year um, and it's kind of, it's it's been amazing because we all come together, we're all working together, we're all on the same page, and um, yeah, we're just a team. We are Team Super Tramp. So none of this would have happened without you though as a viewer. You gave us the opportunity through sharing our videos, through viewing our videos, that we actually started getting working with brands. We could actually get a place like this. And we're just renting, just for the record. That is our office tour for tonight. Hopefully you enjoyed it. What do you think we're missing in our office? I would love to know your suggestions, so leave it down below in the comments. We want to be a super artsy, fun space. So, I mean, that's why we have the ping pong table. That's why we have the boosted boards. That's why we have the hoverboards and all these other things. So I would love to know any suggestions that you have on what we're missing in our office. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for your suggestions. Over and out. Don't